Hi guys, it's Ray. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to paint my tumbler. So, I have my cup. I think this is the one I wanted to paint on. I have an assortment of paints. And it doesn't matter what paint you use. And I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. I'm kind of going to go for a sunset. Is my goal. And I'm going to do some white over top. Um, that will hopefully look like waves and clouds. Both. I'm going to do the whole thing. So I'm working on a piece of paper so I can kind of pour a little bit out. This is really thin. Probably needs to be mixed up better. Hold on. Okay. Let's try that again. The purple. I do want it to kind of blend a little bit. And I'm probably going to come back over that purple with another coat at some point. I'm going to go into my red. My red is super thick. And I didn't grab enough brushes. That's a kind of corally color for my orange. And this yellow is about had it, so I'm not going to worry about double dipping my brush. Grab the red again. I don't want to dip into my paint, so I'm just coming back in this way. I'll grab that purple again. And run back over the whole top. Okay, so I'm going to set this down for two seconds. Okay, so I've got two blues. I'm going to just dump a little bit of each on the paper. If I can. And then I've got a dark gray that I'm going to transition into for the bottom. So, grab my brush, take 
pick up some more. And I think I'm going to do just a tiny bit more of the dark blue at the bottom here, where I'm going to blend over in. Okay. And last, I'm going to come in with my gray. I'm going to do my whole bottom in the gray. didn't want to do straight black. In the gray, I do want a good coat because that's not going to get the white over it. But I'm going to mix a little bit of that blue with the gray and blend that back in. my overlap. I'm going to grab this brush again because I can still see quite a few brush strokes. I'd like to see if I can eliminate some of them. Okay. And I'm going to come back into the purple just a little bit. Just because that is still a little bit lighter than I'd wanted. A little bit more of my blue. I'm going to grab my red brush and just smooth that all a bit. And I know that had purple on it. I don't really care because this pot is not going back on my shelf. I do have a new one. So. All right. Whoops. That was not what I intended to do, but I'm just gonna smooth it in. to my purple or red. A little bug. Alrighty, so that is going to be my base. I'm going to let this dry, clean all of this up, and get my resin mixed to put the white on. Okay, I am ready to get resin and the white swirls on this. Um, 
I have resin on my hand already, so I'm trying to get everything started left-handed. I'm just going to put a pretty good clear coat on to start. This is a 20 ounce skinny, so I'm going to do probably a good 20 mLs and just get that smoothed out. And I am going through some seasonal growing pains here. Happens every year, happens every change of season. Um, so this resin mixed up quite bubbly, but by the time I'm done, that'll be taken care of. So not terribly, terribly concerned about it at this point. using KS Resin Liquid Stone for this coat, so I have a good working time, a fairly thick resin. Um, <clears throat> I was going to do it with the resin I'm currently testing, however, the viscosity of it is so thin that I don't dare try it on this technique. So, I'm going to get this glove off now. I am going to go ahead and just torch it real quick just to get any big big bubbles out okay and I am going to grab what I need for my next step and I will be right back okay so I had sectioned off a little bit of resin and I have my Pinata White Alcohol Ink. I'm going to use a little bit of that. Two, three, four, five, six or seven drops. And then I have my Alumalite White Resin Dye. And I'm going to just put a little bit of that in there. So I'm going to stir that up. The ink's going to take care of a bunch of the bubbles in this for me, and the white is going to make it so it doesn't all float the dye. Okay, so I want both clouds and waves for this. So I'm going to do a couple stripes here and then a couple stripes that way. And I don't want a ton, but I don't want too little. So I'm going to actually attempt to pour from the little cup. If I can get it to come out slow enough. I'm going to run right along this line on the wet resin. And I feel like this is going to be too, too much. I don't like that, so I'm going to go ahead and apply with the stick for the other lines. And I should really have something under my cup to catch this, but I do not. And I'm going to do some at the top. These ones I might not do quite even solid lines. Let them be a little bit more organic for the um, cloud part. So I have my heat gun ready. I'm going to try and push the waves this way. I'm going to see if I can get the, tump, the turner spun the other way to push the clouds the opposite direction. I'm not sure it'll work on my table, but I'm going to find out. I'm actually going to push the clouds that way. Yeah, I don't know. I might push it all that way and then turn it around. I'm wishy-washy.
I actually wish I had my other cap on here. I'm going to take the diffuser off. Gonna blow the clouds pretty much straight on. It'll kind of push them both directions at once, doing it that way. Because I do want them a little more free form and organic. I'm going to come back at the bottom a little bit and push them up a little bit more. I'm going to try and push it back down a little bit. Get some over the bottom edge. Try and break up some of those round and round swirls a little bit. Try and push some of this white right off the top. Okay. So I'm actually going to just reverse the direction of travel for this tumbler and let it dry and do its thing. I'm actually pretty pleased with these white lines and I'm just gonna let it go. And I will be back when it is dry to get the decal on. Okay, I am back. I have this half decaled. I'm gonna get the other decal on and get the resin done for it. Um, this one says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Uh, I know the decal's a little bit big, but this is the third time I cut this, so I give up. It is what it is. So I'm going to spin it around, try and get it about even, and to get the other decal on. thought the quote was fitting for the lighthouse kind of motif. A bump under there. Shoot. Oops. Rip that tiny little thin line. Just gonna go ahead and stick it back on there. These two little lines didn't even cut evenly to begin with. But 
But I thought that was a fitting um, quote for this. All right, so I'm gonna get my resin mixed up. I haven't mixed resin for you guys lately. Um, but this is cup number 30 for the month of September, video-wise, so I did it. Yay. Um, I wanted to mention a couple things. Uh, when I'm mixing in my small cups, I've been using these little silicone sticks. I mix with these, I get a lot less bubbles, and I just wipe them off with a baby wipe when I'm done. There will be a handful of these, um, I think like five, in the giveaway. And also, I haven't mentioned this yet, but I switched my resin to honey bottles instead of the FIFO bottles or pouring from my big gallons. They still have a similar opening to the FIFO bottles, but these are much more secure. Um, so there will also be a pair of these in the giveaway box. Um, I know, eventually I'll give them real, real labels, but for me, these just make it so much easier when you're mixing a small amount. Um, like right now, I'm only going to mix up 20 mLs. So. I get down to eye level with my cup. These just give you really nice control over your pores. Even with your thicker part A, it works really well. So. Um, they do sell these in a larger size than this. Uh, to me, this size is super manageable. So. I will get these linked. I will get the little mixing sticks linked. Um. But I like these. You can mix with either side. I like to mix with the flat side when I'm doing a small amount like this. Because I can get along the edge really well. Um, just things that work for me. Not everything works for everyone, but... I've been trying to, like, I know the little cup's disposable. You can sometimes get the resin out and reuse them, but um, I'm trying to be a little bit more green here and there. I mix my bigger batches in the silicone cups, which there's also a couple of those in the box for the giveaway. But... For smaller amounts, I'm still using these because I haven't found a small size silicone that's marked well enough for me to do a small amount. And this resin is pretty cold. It's a little chilly in here, so... It's not going to mix quite as smoothly, but it'll be all right. But I like these because you can get the bottom scraped, the edges scraped. I always wipe off 
when I'm closing in on done just to get any that has stuck to the stick mixed in. I make sure I get around the sides really good. And yes, I know there's a ton of bubbles. I'm mixing fairly quickly. It's all right. I will torch them out. This is Chaos Resin Liquid Stone, in case I hadn't mentioned that. Kind of looking past the bubbles to see if I'm mixed well. And I am. It's just very cold out here already. Welcome to fall. Enjoy it for two weeks because it's going to be winter. So, I just take a baby wipe. If I have one out, and wipe it off. And if I don't want to use a baby wipe, I will take just a piece of a rag, a t-shirt or something, and use that with a little bit of alcohol, clean some right off, put them back in the cup, and they're ready to go for the next one. So, I'm going to get my turner turned on and get this right on here. I think this cup turned out beautiful. Really pleased overall with my paint job. I'm just going to get this smoothed out and then we'll come down for a close-up. So make sure you've watched the September videos, um, <clears throat> liked them, commented on them. Make sure you are subscribed. We are just about a hundred away from the giveaway. So like I said, I am hoping for my birthday. Um, I will get that video ready soon, um, now that I'm wrapped up with my September ones. Um, that way I'm ready to make it live as soon as I hit that number. Um, but part of the process for winning is going to revolve around the September cups. So, it's not going to be a quiz or anything. It's just going to be one, one question and one keyword. So, but be prepared to have an answer because the length of time I leave it up is going to be fairly short. So, um, but that is it. That's a wrap on September. I can't believe I actually finally managed to get a video a day up. Pretty pleased. Um, I appreciate all of the love and support this last month. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get this torched quick. Once around. A lot of the bubbles in this KS resin come out while you're applying it. Um, I do have a couple of rogue glitters in here, but they're turquoise, so I'm not real worried about it. And that's once around, because that's where I started. Get the bottom. I'm just going to look and see if it needs a little more. But I think it's pretty good, so I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. <clears throat> I absolutely love the color and the detail in this cup.
This was actually a viewer suggestion, sort of. Um, she suggested a lighthouse on a beach scene, and I kind of have been wanting to do a painted sunset for a while now, so I kind of combined the two ideas. But man, I absolutely love this. The bottom is just mostly gray. So that is it for this tumbler. That is it for the month of September. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thank you so much.